Okay, if you're like my wife and I, you're probably working through some debt right now. We have student loans we're paying off. We paid off the car recently. We got rid of all our credit cards. Okay, if you want to call it a Dave Ramsey plan, sure. Dave Ramsey's great. He'll get you started. He'll work with you through it, everything. I, I like Dave Ramsey. Sometimes people don't. It doesn't matter. Wherever you're at with paying off your debt, what's important is your focus, okay? It's going to be frustrating at first. It's going to be difficult. And it's not <laughs> very fun sometimes <laughs> because you want to go out. You want to go buy things. You want to eat out. You want... <laughs> You want to maintain your bad habits that got you in debt in the first place. So what have I done to help with those feelings, to help work through those struggles of paying off debt? First, just get busy. You've got to get busy. The more you're working is the less that you're spending. Okay, so the more time you spend working, the less time spending. Does that make sense? It's real simple. If you worked 12 hours today, that was 12 hours that you weren't spending money. You're probably very tired. You're probably not going to have more than a 16-hour day at that point. So you have two hours on either end of that work day. What are you doing for those two hours? Eating? Going to the bathroom? If you are very busy with what you're doing, you're not going to have time to go spend that money. And you'll have fun in the process of working. It doesn't necessarily have to be second and third jobs, though that's helpful for your debt-free journey. But just by staying occupied, you're not going to be out spending money to entertain yourself. That's number one. Okay, just get busy. Second, it's the little victories. It's the little parts. Those, those not spending victories are awesome. But also, you're going to be paying off these debts. Okay, you're going to make a payment month after month after month. And after a year maximum, you're going to have something paid off. Okay, especially with a Dave Ramsey plan where you start with the smallest payment first or the smallest debt first, right? You're going to have some victory under your belt. When you feel that, when you feel the weight of debt come off of you, even even a little bit, if you have a hundred thousand in debt, you pay off a thousand dollars. I know it's only one percent of your debt, but it's a little less debt. You're going to feel better. Focus on those little victories, okay? Reward yourself at the end of the day. Like if you did work a 12 hour day, you don't have to go buy a $50 meal, okay? But while you're working, you buy a $5 Starbucks, keep yourself going forward. It adds up at the end of the month, sure. But $5 a day is cheaper than every meal out all day. You see what I mean? You've got to reward yourself. The best way to do it is like to go home and, and do something fun that you really like. And that would be free. Nice. But if you're really struggling with this focusing on work and getting out of debt, $5 a day isn't going to be the difference between you and being debt free. It's $5. That's a silly, silly idea. So get your latte, power through. Along the lines of those free entertainments that I mentioned, uh, the free rewards to yourself, get a hobby. Focus on something fun. My wife really likes, uh, uh, what is it, cross stitch? Cross stitch, right? She loves doing that. It's fun. Read a book. Find something that you are interested in reading. If it's fiction, nonfiction, a subject you've always wanted to learn, it doesn't matter. Do something free. Every time you entertain yourself with something free, you'll be growing as a person, first of all, because it's either an exercise or a book you're reading or a hobby that you're developing. You're learning guitar. I mean, that helps you grow as a person, right? So if you're entertaining yourself freely, you're helping on your debt-free journey, you're growing as a person, and those are investments that will pay you dividends in the long term, okay? It doesn't matter if for fun you stare at a wall and meditate. That helps too. Get your mind free. Awesome. Meditation is very helpful. My point is that you, you need to find things to focus on that aren't your debt. Stop focusing on the debt. Focus on the paying it off. Focus on the making more money so you can pay it off. Focus on hobbies that you can do to keep you entertained, especially if they're free. And then focus on the little rewards you're going to give yourself every day. Like, man, when I get home... I'm going to practice guitar for an hour because it's my favorite. When I get home, I get to play that video game I've been waiting for for like an hour before bed. It's going to be so nice. Man, when I'm out working today, I'm going to get myself 
one of those little sandwich thingies from McDonald's. Sandwich thingies from McDonald's. Clearly, I don't eat there. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking of Starbucks, and then McDonald's came out. So maybe I'm just hungry. Who knows? But that's my recommendation. Just get your mind and your body busy. Stop thinking about the debt and work forward, okay? You'll be fine. And once that first debt is paid off, you're going to feel so good. All right, keep pushing. Share your debt-free journeys in the comments. Tell me, like, what are you working on? Because right now, we are still working on those student loans. And it's daunting, man. It is very intimidating. So I've got to listen to my own advice, right? i got to get busy. So talk to you later. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.